Hello. Hey everybody, it's Kiwi, and today I'm gonna be doing something very special. I'm gonna be painting on a paint palette. Now, I wanted to do this idea for months, but the reason why I've been holding it off is because I needed to get this like matte Mod Podge. So it's like basically sealing paint and I saw Mariah Elizabeth doing it and I just really wanted to do it. And I'm doing it. Good thing they're not gonna turn out like this, I hope. So here's the first paint palette I'm gonna be doing today. It's not meant to be paint on, obviously, but we're doing it. So I'm adding a white base coat so I don't have to add a million coats of paint to the colors I'm gonna be putting on this paint palette. Ew, a paint palette. So I'm just whipping up a nice green color for a reason that I'll tell you later. So yes, I'm doing a strawberry themed paint palette, but like my first time painting these paint palettes, I wanted to do an idea I was very familiar with, so yeah. Now I'm whipping up a nice red color because this is the part of the strawberry that everyone loves, right? Also, have you guys noticed my nice bright background? You guys are pretty used to seeing just my table. Well, I tried a different style this time. So guys, I really needed the color correct this footage. This is what the raw footage looked like. Ew. Now mixing up a good seed color for the strawberry. So painting little sections, I don't want to accidentally pull up the paint from under because the paint doesn't stick on that well, but it's like fine. But I had to be really mindful not to pull up any paint from under. So actually painting some of the seeds that were like on the little crevices, it was a little difficult cause you know, all the little crevices, but I got through it. Well, this is an interesting angle for the seeds. <laughs> Don't know if it's your best angle seeds. <laughs> And now we're adding the highlights, and oh my god, the highlights are the best. And it also makes this strawberry look more cartoony. So here it is. I love it. So let's bring in this one. So I'm just adding a white base coat. So to paint the background of the paint palette, I wanted a bright, nice blue. So I added a little bit of turquoise and it went a little desaturated, just a incy wincy bit. Um, I think it's because turquoise has a little bit of green which has some yellow which is close to orange and orange is the completely, I can't pronounce it, color of blue so maybe that's why. Now we're painting on the background and it's so nice. Painting on this wooden paint palette was much easier than painting on that plastic paint palette because, you know, it's a wooden paint palette. Now I'm mixing up a somewhat pastel color for each color in the rainbow. So now I'm painting on each of the colors because I'm doing sprinkles. So I know with these flat palettes you can do any design because it's flat, but mine's pretty simple because it's not bad going back to the simple side. This would have been 
way more neat if I had Posca pens, which are basically paint markers. But I don't have that, so we're just brushing on these sprinkles. Okay, so this palette is done, and now to the last one. Okay, so this is the last palette I'm going to do today. So then I am just going to be filling each paint container up with some white, and then adding each color of the rainbow in again. So for each of the colors, I'm going to be adding the complementary colors to them. So they will be desaturated, which is what I'm looking for. So now I am blending each of the colors. And this is the moment I realized I forgot to add a white base coat, but it actually doesn't need one. So, yeah. Oh To be honest, it's actually nice working with desaturated colors. For people who love bright colors, you guys might not be a fan of this paint palette because, yes, it doesn't have that much bright colors, but it's still nice. So now I'm also adding black stripes because I thought this just needed something. And again, yes, this would have looked much more neat if I had Posca pens for the stripes, but I don't, so yeah. Okay, so here are all the paint palettes, but we need to add some Mod Podge to protect the paint, because this paint is peeling. So that is gonna take overnight to dry. Okay, we're back and they are all dry. I love this one a lot because I love the desaturated look. I like this one, but just the sprinkles are a little sloppy. And this one has to be my favorite. So I have a place to put these right here under my drawing station, but I don't feel like putting them up right now and I don't know if I have command strips. So I'll probably hang these up when I get command strips and post a pin of it on Pinterest. So make sure to follow me there. And yeah, so I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to explode. Like, like button <laughs> and subscribe to my channel for more artsy crafty things. Anyways, bye. And if you want a part two, then I can probably make a part two. So smooth, so smooth, so smooth, so smooth.